All right, so I decided to start doing um, little shows of my garage just to see if I can unload some of my stuff. <laughs> There's not going to be enough lighting because my lights blew out up there, but um, got the door open. It's a semi sunny day after a nice big pour down. And here's what I have found for you today. We found this chair, but I'm definitely, I, I'm going to keep that because Nathan, thank you very much. Got a chair for my mom <laughs> for when we go to the flea markets. I found this nerf. I'm totally working on that. I'm going to turn it into a massive zombie slayer. No, it's actually going to become a steampunk gun because not only does it shoot from here, but it does this, which rocks my world. Alrighty, so on to number two. Where do we want to go? Well, we don't want to talk about poop, so this pretty little painting. I'm not sure what's paintings, lithographs, art, pencil, pen, whatever, but this sucker is pretty old. It's in really good condition. I like this piece right here because it reminds me of me and my mom. Um, there's the signature. I can't really see it out. There it goes. doesn't say Kmart, I promise. You can see the shadows of the people, the reflections, just the dim skylight. Kind of dirty, the frame, but otherwise it's, it's in really nice condition inside the frame. It is a vintage. It says this is a Turner Wall Accessory, which is one of the vintage companies. And you can even reorder from Chicago. Check that out. I don't know how old that is. Um, that's kind of shabby, but it still got the frame. What else do we have over here? You can see the demon girl looking at you from the basket. Yeah, she's, um, she's special. She stays with me. This is a Kodak Instamatic X45 color outfit camera. Still in the box. This, the film moves around a little bit. But you can see everything right there. Camera. I have tested this one out. It does work pretty good. I did not have the flash attached to it. I like to keep it where you can move it around. Pretty cool. Comes with a little notebook, comes with your roll of film, comes with a flash bulb. Uh, can do two to six feet. And you move this over and you can do uh, beyond six feet. So if you're going beyond the grave, I'm sure you could take this with you and you could snap some photos of the zombies as you go. It's pretty good condition. Let's see if I can do this single handedly. She single handedly opens the Kuda camera to show you the interior is great. It's pretty much stayed in the box the whole time that I've had it. Closes securely. Um, I've only, like I said, I used it once. Uh oh. See, Nerf is unbreakable. That's why I buy it. Um, with the cameras and stuff, they stayed in the boxes the whole time. Move them around. They don't jump in the box. So I'm going to put that somewhere safer because I don't want to break it like a, the unbreakable Nerf. Alrighty, let's see. I have apparently a bin full of crafty stuff. I think I got it at an estate sale. They're just little sewing projects. And my garage is full of wonders. Look at that thread. It's beautiful colors. I love embroidery stuff, crafty stuff. Anytime I can get a good deal on it, I try. Because uh, my mom especially likes to do a lot of those. It's something going like this a long time ago. Not sure what they are. I mean, they look kind of like those little bags you'd use for like potpourri. Another interesting find, which I just happen to be watching Golden Girls. Uh, half the time I was at Dad's because there's nothing much else besides CSI shows. Um, and I noticed Sophia, you know, the older, the older lady, the mom. She was carrying one of these through pretty much every show. And I was just, like, amazed. Like, oh, wow. You know what? I just found Sophia's purse. And it's kind of, uh, the straps are in bad condition. But the outer shell is honestly in really good condition. It's really pretty. Um, sorry, phone went off.
not familiar with the flip furry from uh, Nerf. This is pretty cool. It was an awesome find. Found it, I think, at Goodwill for like five bucks. A little bit steep considering we're used to getting them done here for cheaper. But um, I thought it was pretty steampunk looking. Hold on, let me see if I can pop this sucker. There we go, you pull that back. And of course it shoots, right? But the cool thing that I liked is it's very steampunk because it does this. And then it just, it just shoots from one chamber at a time. But still, I got a lot of ideas for this one. <laughs> Check it out.